Hello friends, today I show you how you can recover deleted QuickTime files from your system. I found a recovery software at this site which is specifically designed to recover deleted QuickTime files from your system. All you need to do is just click on the download now button that you see here and download this software to your system. Before I begin, I'll delete the QuickTime file from a USB drive and I'll show you how you can recover it by making use of this recovery software. I already have the software installed on my system, so I'll just launch the software and this is how the main screen of software looks like. I find three options on the main screen, that is recover files, recover photos and recover drives. Now that I'm dealing with recovering media file, that is the QuickTime MOV file, I'll go with the recover photos option. On the next screen I find two options, that is recover deleted photos and recover lost photos. I'll go with recover deleted photos, so I'll click on this module. On next screen, software scans and lists all the storage devices that are connected to your system. All you need to do here is select the drive from which you are looking to recover your deleted QuickTime MOV file. Since I deleted my QuickTime MOV file from my USB drive, I'll select it and I'll then click on the next button that I see here. Here I just need to select the file extension that I'm looking to recover. So I'll click on music and video option that I see here and I'll scroll down to select the MOV file extension. Once I'm done with that, I'll click on the next button down here. Software now starts to scan my USB drive and it recovers all the deleted QuickTime MOV files from it. The software scans and lists all the files in data view as well as file type view. Data view lets me browse to the folders that are present on my USB flash drive. But since I had only selected the MOV file extension in the previous step, only a folder named MOV has been recovered. But as file type view, it gives me a list of all file extensions that have been found on my flash drive. I'll select MOV and I'll proceed further. I now specify the target location where I'd like to have the recovered MOV files to be saved. So I'll select an existing folder on my system and I'll then click on OK. I'll finally click on the next button that I see here. Software now saves all the recovered MOV files to the folder that was specified by me and it takes me directly to the target folder once the saving is complete. Here's the MOV file that I had deleted previously and it's been recovered successfully by this recovery software. It's this simple to recover all your deleted QuickTime MOV files by making use of this recovery software. So just visit the link given in the description below and download the software to your system. In order to save your recovered QuickTime MOV files, you need to buy this software. Thanks for watching.